Hey y'all, so before I get this video started, let me give a quick shout out. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want to be featured in my next video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and come show me some love when I drop a new video. What's up you guys, it's Kian Bravon, AKA Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time for me to do my second paycheck to paycheck budget for the month of December. December actually is a magic month for me. If you're new to my channel, I get paid bi-weekly. I am a PRN nurse, but I pretty much work part-time hours. Before I get started, I just realized I wrote, is that, no, that is the right one. I thought I put this money in the wrong account. Okay, so before I do the paycheck to paycheck budget for the second one, I first need to go ahead and finish out and or reconcile the first paycheck to paycheck budget. So starting with the fixed expenses, everything was correct up here. I did put the 150 off to the side for rent. I basically take half of what my rent is, put it off to the side with every paycheck. And then what ends up happening is with a magic month like this month, I end up having an extra half a payment. And usually I have two magic months per year. So by the end of me doing this for 12 months, I'll have one month of rent just kind of sitting off to the side and I'm already a month ahead on top of that. I did go ahead and pay my property taxes that was the exact amount because I went ahead and paid it straight out of my checking account so that I wouldn't incur any fees for using my debit or credit card. Excuse my red nails. I had flaming hot Cheetos last night. I could not get that out. Now going on to the variable expenses. Let's go to the expense tracker. These are all the expenses that I had in this two week time span. And I literally went, did, is that it? That is it. I had to literally go back like am I tripping like did I really not spend money until like pretty much the beginning of the second week and that was actually true so I went grocery shopping a couple of times I did end up taking something back to Target and even though that came out of my last month's budget because I reconciled that one down to zero already I just go ahead and add that into that particular category for this month um, went out to eat once, got some snacks at work, more grocery shopping. I did buy me some leggings from Walmart yesterday. I got four pair for 25 bucks. So I put that in the shopping category. So total, I had 1500 well, $1,510 for my variable expenses for this month, I still have 130608 left over, which means that I only spent $203.92. I'm trying to see. Oh, I think it's because I went grocery shopping right before the beginning of this budget. That's how that worked. Okay. So my budget is 503.34 for my variable expenses every two weeks. So if I, my goodness, 503.34, I actually ended up spending 203.92, which means I was under budget by 299.42. I can't, y'all, I'm just checking my, um, credit card account again. I did go ahead and make the payment for whatever that 203.92 was. But I just really can't, did I really not spend money for a whole week? <laughs> I just want to make sure cuz I don't like reconciling things out and that's not really what it is. No, it really is. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. All right. So, I'm going to change the total down here to the 203.92. That is what I sent off for savings. You guys know that this month and next month, everything that I send off to savings, I'm just going to put in my true emergency fund for me to pay myself back in February because I'm taking all of February off from work. Yes, I am. I don't even think I've told my job yet. All right. So let's go ahead and reconcile down here at the bottom and then we'll get started on paycheck two. So I had someone um, 
comment, I think it was on my December monthly budget. She was like, this isn't low income. This is an income of $4,000 for the month. And like I explained to her, this is one of the rare times, two times a year I get three. Oh, you know what? I did that because I didn't have red at the time. Two times a year I get three paychecks. And so, you know, that third paycheck makes it not a low income month per se, but I still have a low yearly income when you add everything up. Then you guys have to also um, understand that I have a lot of tax write-offs and stuff like that. Like when I say it's low income, I, I promise you it is. I'm not just putting that in there just for shits and giggles, <laughs> I guess you could say. All right, so 203.92. So I didn't want to label my videos different just because I am blessed to have a magic month this month. No. Okay. So if you're new here, what I do down here is I'm basically um, reconciling my checking account. I put all of my expenses on a credit card and then at the end of each paycheck cycle, I pay that credit card off in full but I do have some expenses that sometimes come off of my debit card. So me doing it this way, this is just making sure that this is what my checking account is before I get paid. And that is what it was before I got paid last night at midnight. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip over. So now we're getting into the budget. So we have December 16th through December 29th. Right. Yeah, because I get paid again on the 30th. So my income, if I log into my ADP app, you guys know that I did start working 29 hours a week versus 25. I've always just been doing 25. And because of that, plus I think, I think that my raise part i think one week of this paycheck had my raise on it i'm not sure just yet but here was my take home pay right here one thousand three hundred thirty four dollars and fifty four cents and it was for 57.75 hours instead of what should be i think 58 hours i think i was late a couple of times due to traffic one time i was late by like 45 minutes y'all was bad so we got one thousand three hundred thirty four dollars and fifty four cents and let's go ahead and write out the fixed expenses so the one that we're going off of and I don't know why I put boxes there is this week right here so I did earn at least no I did not earn at least 1350 I was taxed a little bit more than I thought and not having that extra 15 minutes on my check so I did not earn at least that so this week we have or this paycheck we have car insurance a uh, stock club my budget and then rent coming out The due date amount plus or minus. Okay, so fixed expenses. First, we have I'm gonna do rent first, and I'm gonna go ahead and send that off today for 150. And then I have car insurance. I send that to my mom on the 21st and that is $62.49. And then the stock club. This is my last month of paying that. So that $20 will be coming back into my budget every month. And then I always just like to do unbudgeted just in case I forgot something. Is this red pen going out of? No, it's not. I was going to say, this is a brand new red pen. Okay, so for the total, my total bills for this paycheck cycle is $232.49. Right? Yes. 
and then remaining I take the 1334.54 and I subtract 232.49 that is $1,102.05 now we're going to go to variable expenses. Again, we got the due dates, amounts, plus or minus. Oh, just an update. I did talk in my last video. My last video, if you guys missed it, I talked about the seven most expensive purchases that I have made since becoming debt free two and a half years ago. And I did tell you guys in that video that I was thinking about purchasing a computer to um, replace my MacBook. My MacBook is old, four gigabytes of RAM. It's, it's terrible. The top row of my letters, like most of them don't work. They haven't worked for a long time. When I used to have an external keyboard for that, eventually that stopped working because a short comes in it when, you know, when you're plugging in, pulling out, plugging in, pulling out. So that was an issue. And so like when I edit my videos on that computer, literally whenever I need to put like text or anything in the videos, I would literally have to put it in the notes pad on my iPhone and then open up the notes pad on my MacBook and copy and paste. Like it's just so ghetto. So because of that, <laughs> I decided that I was gonna go ahead and replace it now. And I did end up finding me another MSI computer. You guys know I just bought um, a $2,300 MSI computer a couple of months ago, but this one was only 650. So I did go ahead and make the transaction like two days ago. So it'll be here on Friday. And I just ended up taking it out of my miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund because it's an investment. That's something I basically use that computer strictly for editing my videos and doing like Photoshop type stuff pretty much. So, and that, I did not write that right. That's okay. Amount, I'm not gonna scratch through it. All right, so. So I'm putting this in my true emergency fund for February. So I'm thinking I'll be good on my taxes this year <laughs> because I have so many write-outs, especially, I mean, I bought $3,000 worth of equipment alone just in computer stuff for this year. So that plus other things. So I think my Taxes should be pretty decent this year. So let's go ahead and calculate what I'm sending off to savings really quick and then we'll finish off that page. So my income, and I forgot what it was, 13, 34.54. 50% checking, 50% savings. So 1334.54. So I'm gonna keep 667.27 in my checking account. This will be for fixed and variable expenses. And then 667.27 is gonna go to my true emergency fund to pay myself a salary or income or whatever in February so that I'm not living off of savings. All right, so. We have six, six, seven, twenty-seven, and then I'm just gonna put unbudgeted because there are rare moments where I send extra off to savings, or I might decide like, oh, you know what? Let's put a little bit over here instead. So we'll see. What I might end up doing at the end of next month is whatever I have saved up for this month and next month, if it's in excess of like $2,500, anything in excess of that, I'll probably put the entire amount in my miscellaneous slash investment sinking fund because I've taken like 12, almost $1,300 out of there in the last two months. So yeah, really like $1,800 in the last three months. <laughs> so I do want to start replacing that. So yeah. All right, let me make sure 232.49 minus 
Yes, and then we're gonna subtract the 667.27. So it looks crazy, I know, because I'm negative for this particular paycheck. And that's because all my bills are coming out right here. However, understand that I started my balance in my checking account at $4,000 at the beginning of the budget, and I still have six, almost $700 left over from paycheck one. So that will more than cover me here even if I spend every single dollar that's allocated in this particular budget. So let's go ahead and set up the reconciliation at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I might end up being able to say way more this month than I originally intended. Cause especially if I continue to kind of not spend much <laughs> like I did the very first paycheck. I think I might be in business. I do know I need to buy some more boots. I have those boots that's kind of like Ugg boots, but they're not Uggs. They're sold at Ross and I think they're like bear paw or something like that. I have the tan looking ones, but I really want to get a pair of black ones and they're like 60 bucks. So I know I'll be paying for that. I'll be getting my sister her Christmas and birthday gift this weekend she was born the day after christmas and i do still separate her gifts so that's about it though and something for my mom i already pulled out the cash for everyone else that i get stuff for for christmas i decided this is going to be my second year of just giving cash to people and that's that <laughs> I don't feel like thinking I don't want to think I feel like I had to think enough this year I don't want to do no more thinking <laughs> so I have the projected or the on the projected side the beginning balance is the ending balance from last paycheck we add in the income so that gives me six thousand eleven dollars and nine cents if I subtract my fixed expenses of two thirty two forty nine variable expenses of 503.33 and then savings i do also know that this week or this particular paycheck i'll be spending quite a bit of money on food because well i did just go grocery shopping but my sister is in her last week of prereqs before nursing school so she wants to celebrate with like a dual celebration of her birthday by doing like a seafood boil at the house and so we'll probably each buy a box of five pounds of crab legs which runs about is it sixty dollars i think it's sixty dollars because it's twelve dollars per pound um, so we'll probably do that and it'll probably just be me, her and my mom, to be honest with you. And we'll get shrimp and stuff like that. I might vlog it. We'll see. So after I subtract the fixed variable and savings, that leaves me with a projected ending balance of $4,608. And the way that I know that's correct is if I take the beginning balance and I subtract what the remaining is here, since it's negative, that gives me 4608 so that's kind of a checks and balances there so that is all i have for you guys for this paycheck if you guys have any questions whatsoever feel free to leave them down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys